All righty. Good afternoon. It is Wednesday, May 10th, 2023. We're going to go through today's daily recap. Uh, all right. For overall today on the day, up $485 on closed trades. Let's get into the trades. There were four of them today. First trade uh, is part of our core strategy where we own both uh, gold and ES futures trades and we do strangles every single week we put uh, a new strangle on every Wednesday and we take off the most profitable strangle uh, that same day uh, where we have four laddered because we're doing them weekly so uh, first trade up on today $560 winner in gold it was a strangle that we put on uh, back on April 12th uh, took it off again today, May 10th, uh, so 28 days in trade overall. Uh, when we put this initial strangle on, uh, we took in $12 in credit, and we closed it today. It was the most profitable of the four strangles. We closed it for $6.40 debit uh, for an overall premium capture of 46.7%, uh, which also translates to a 27.9, almost 28% return on margin in 28 days. Uh, so great trade. Again, these are part of the core trades that I have in my portfolio. The next one is the other part of the core, which is the ES strangles. So we opened on April 12th, a strangle at the 3400 4700 mark for $24.25 credit. Again, we closed today, May 10th, uh, 28 days in trade. Uh, for a closing price of $12.50, giving us a premium capture of 48.5% in those 28 days, which translates also to a 13.8% return on margin. So $588 winner uh, on that one. So our goal here is to generate about $1,000 a week uh, on just this strategy alone. And uh, we're pretty close to that. Uh, today, we're a little bit over 1000 dollars on this trade close to 1100 a week uh, this week uh, on these trades uh, we also had two other trades come off uh, the boards and the first one here is a iron condor in amazon uh, kind of a spec trade uh, that we put on uh, we opened this just two days ago uh, doing a tight iron condor uh, the 100 102 109 111 iron condor we opened it for 39 cents I decided just to take that thing off today uh, with Amazon starting to make a move and, and break out a bit here. Uh, we closed it for 75 cents. So small $360 loser on this trade. I uh, just wanted to get out as Amazon is making a move. Uh, and if you follow me at all, you know that Amazon is my only real stock trading position. Uh, normally I'm all futures uh, with a few stocks sprinkled in option wise. Um, but Amazon being such a diversified uh, company, I uh, love to trade Amazon. Uh, so let's, that, that'll that bring us right into the next trade to take a look at, which is closing out our May 5th covered call on our synthetic stock position. Now, the Amazon synthetic stock position is up uh, quite a bit. It's over 25% gains already in that synthetic stock. Uh, we've got uh, almost uh, $3,000 in gains on just a synthetic stock. And what we do is every week we write covered calls against it. So we wrote this call back on the 5th uh, for th uh, for $0.60 cents, uh, because of Amazon's move up. We ended up closing it out at $1.61 debit. So a bit of a loser here, which is all good because every time we have a loser on this covered call, that means the synthetic stock position, which is, again... Uh, we owned the 100 calls and we sold short the 100 puts uh, options. Uh, so that position moves much higher uh, than any loss on these. So that's all good. Uh, this particular week, we took a loss. Some weeks we have a winner. Some weeks we take a loser. Uh, and uh, we just keep rolling on that synthetic long. So a little bit of a uh, stop out here on that. So overall, good day, $485 to good on the day. Again, that's your recap for Wednesday, May 10th, 2023. Uh, we'll be back a little bit later with uh, a little look at the markets, where we are, and some other ideas. Uh, but overall, good roller coaster day, $485 to the plus side. 
Have a great rest of your day. We'll see everybody in the next session.